So yesterday we saw about the usage of the post increment and then the pre increment. So today we are going to continue on the same topic, okay, with some different programs. Let me execute one more time actually. What? So what is the usage of the post and pre increment? So I'll come here. Post increment or decrement. We have one, then pre increment or decrement. We have one. Okay, so what is post increment or decrement means? It is I plus plus or I minus minus. That's it. So what's going to happen over here means that is utilize the Utilize the I value first, then increment or decrement the I value. That's what it's going to do. So, what it's going to do is first it's going to actually what? Utilize the I value, then only the increment or decrement will happen for the I. That's the thing. Same thing actually what? Here. Here it's plus plus i or minus minus i. So what this is gonna do here means so first increment the i value then utilize the incremented i value that's it clear so first you are going to increment the i value then you are going to utilize so both the places actually but i value is going to be incremented but when the utilization will happen that is where it depends so i plus plus means what first you take the i then after that increment the i value Plus plus I means first increment the I, then after that utilize it. That's it. Okay. That's what it's going to do. So how it has been used. So we'll see with some examples here. So I'll take this program. So I have here integer I is equal to zero. Then integer J equal to I plus 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 i plus plus that's what so that's what we are going to use here so what is going to happen here so simple integer i is equal to zero here so now what will happen gives me i okay so what is my i value right now it is zero okay then we have to identify what is my j value here that's what we have to identify here. Find the J here. That's it. Clear? So now int J equal to I plus plus. So I plus plus means what? I comes first. So that's why first you utilize the I value zero. Then after that, now you have to increment the I value by one. That's the thing. So first utilize I value, then after that actually what? Increment the I value. That's what it's going to do. Then next actually what? Plus. I plus plus. Again, I comes first. So now what will happen? Take the I value first. One. Okay. Then after that, now increment the I value by one year. That is one plus one is two. That's the thing. Clear? Then after the 0 plus 1 is what? 1. So that one, I'm storing it over there under the J variable. 
that's the thing clear same thing if you see here right click run as java application so i value is 2 j value is 1 so i value is 2 j value is 1 here for me that's it yes any questions for anyone on this anyone has any questions on this clear for everyone good so now next we'll see so same thing here in case if we get plus plus i what will be the output for this so now what is my i value and what is my j value I value is zero okay then in j equal to plus plus i plus 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 i so plus plus i so what's going to happen right now for me we'll see so first increment then take the i value that's what okay first increment then take the i value so what is there right now so first i value should be incremented by one Then after that, take the i value, the incremented i value that is one year. Then plus. Now again, plus plus i. Correct. Now what will happen? First increment the i value by one, that is two. Then take the i value. That's the thing. Clear? So then one plus two is what? Three. Store it over there under the j variable clear that is pre increment that is what pre increment here so let me take it. So now let me run this right click run as Java application. You can see i value is 2, j value is 3. i value is 2, j value is 3. So both the places i value will be same. So what will be the value will come for the j is what we have to identify. Clear? Anyone has any questions on this guys? Anyone has any questions on this? Clear for everyone? Uh, can everyone ping me in the chat windows? Yes, if you're able to understand this. Can everyone ping me in the chat window? Yes, yes. Good. Good, guys. So now I want everyone to do this program and then find the i and j value. So let me copy here. So I want everyone to do this and then get me the i and j value. Find me the i and then j value. See, i plus 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 i minus 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 i plus 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 i minus plus plus i plus i plus 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 i minus minus. So, what is my i value and what is my j value? Find for me. So I want everyone to do this program for sure because then only you will be able to understand this concept because this is very important concept which we will be using it in our selenium.
So I'll give till 725, I want an output. So once you're done, uh, ping me separately. Okay, ping me privately. A good grace. So most of them able to send. That's good. Cool. So let me execute it over there. Okay. So what will be the output for this? That's what we're gonna identify here. So here integer i is equal to one. Int j is equal to i plus plus. So we have to execute. So we'll see one by one here. Okay. So first i value is what? one for me here so it took one then next i plus plus j equal to i plus plus so i plus plus means what first i comes right so i need to take the i value first then after that increment the i value by one that is two then plus i minus minus so that means what first take the i value so now the current i value is what? Two. So take the i value that is two. Then after that minus minus. So that is minus by one. So that is one. 
clear then after that minus then after that minus minus i so minus minus i means what will happen right now uh, here first decrement the i value then only utilize the i value so first decrement it that is zero then after that utilize them zero here clear then after that plus 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 i so now what is this plus plus i means so first you have to increment the i value by one year increment the i value by one then utilize it that is one then after that so uh guys just give me give me a minute guys Hello. Sorry, guys. So now we'll see here. Yeah? So actually, what they have incremented by one. Then after that, minus. Then after that, plus plus i. So now what will happen right now? Increment the i value by one. That is two. Then after that, utilize the i value now. So it will be two here. Then plus i plus plus. So now i plus plus means what happened? First, utilize the i value. Then after that, increment it by one. That is three. Then plus i minus minus. So that means first utilize the i value then after that decremented by 2 so i value is 2 what is my j value we'll see 1 plus 2 is 3 3 minus 0 is 3 3 plus 1 is 4 4 minus 2 is 2 2 plus 2 is 4 4 plus 3 is 7 so j value is 7 here clear so i value is 2 j value is 7 so we'll see here right click and as java application so 2 and 7 so we got it properly clear sir. any questions for anyone sir hello any questions uh, yes sir. can you please repeat the j thing uh, j value so here 1 plus 2 yes. is 3 3 minus 0 is no, 3. No, no. How, how it incremented and decremented? That I need to know. Uh, that it didn't relate, so that's a... Okay. Uh, you can just go through the uh, video path. Okay. okay, okay go through no. the video. Okay. okay. So you just know you joined, right? You just go through the video. Uh, okay. Others, anyone has any questions, guys? Okay. Let me execute the next program for you. So we'll see this. So now integer i equal to zero, j is equal to minus minus i plus 
i plus 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 i minus minus so this program i want you guys to do so we'll see uh, after finding please send me a screenshot of this okay so again i'll give you five minutes break over there so 7 30 7 35 till that i want everyone to continue so do this then after that actually what we'll see what is the output okay so i'll give a five minutes break 7 35 till that okay just find me what is the i value and then j value thank you
okay good good guys so some of them have given correct answers so we'll see what is that whether your answer is correct or not okay so now let me execute it so now integer i is equal to zero so find the j here so what is the j value so first i just want this time actually what you guys to execute with me so last hey hi kirti you're there hey hi kirti okay uh hey hi pan hello hey hi pan hello hey hi uh kirti can you help me right now uh what is will happen actually what first i'm gonna give j equal to minus minus i so what will happen uh, first j minus minus zero again it will be decremented right so it will be zero uh, so first decrement will happen for i otherwise we will take the i value then after that the decrement will be done first decrement will happen correct why because it is uh, post decrement no pre decrement that is minus minus when it comes first so what will happen first it decrement the i value so that become as minus 1 okay, okay. then take the i value that is minus 1 now then plus so now what will happen uh, then i plus plus so now what will happen minus 1 minus so, 1 incremented by 1 no first year what will happen i comes first or plus plus comes first i so here what will be the value will be taken one one or minus one first it will be minus one this one is minus one yeah. plus then here what will be the value okay so uh, okay hey, thanks Kitty. thank you so guys i plus plus so first we get i here so what is the current i value right now that is minus one right minus one take minus one here yeah. okay then after that only increment should happen for us so minus one plus one will become as zero here yeah. that's it clear so then after that plus i minus minus so first we get i so what is my current i value that is zero so take zero then after that only decrement should happen that is actually what again minus one clear so where my plus plus or the minus minus comes depends on that the increment will happen first or the utilization will happen first that's the thing clear so anyone want to execute this program anyone want to execute this anyone wanted to give a try anyone like to give a try this so want to execute this yes sir good can you help me path so first yeah uh, plus plus uh, so now it says uh, plus plus so it increment at uh, minus one yes goes to the zero uh, that means minus one goes to zero means where in memory location uh, or here? Yeah, here, here, yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, here, where? This is oh, memory no. location. This is okay. the program utilization. So, where I need to make it? Program, program allocation. So plus plus i. Here, what will happen now? Zero. Okay. Oh, my minus one will come. Sorry. Sir. Are you confused? Okay, yeah. so tell me plus plus i when I give, what mm -hmm. will happen? So first it will increment uh, whatever the value is of okay. uh, whatever the value of the I, current value of the i. So like currently the, my value of the i is minus one. Yeah. So it will increment first. So it will become zero. Correct. Where in the memory location? Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's what important here. Okay. So in the memory location level, it is incremented. Yes. Yeah. Then utilize so, the value yeah zero hmm. then next then next uh, again 
uh, here it says a plus uh, plus plus i. So Correct. in memory location, yeah, uh, it become value one. It increase value to one. Correct. So memory location will be incremented by one. One. Okay. Then, and here uh, in output also uh, answer is one. Super. Yes, that's it. Yes, correct. Then, and then now is asking for i minus minus. Correct. So my current value is one. So in yes. memory location it will uh, decrement to zero. No, first memory location will be done or utilization will be done. Yeah. So like current value is i. So that's uh, one. Correct. So in so, output it's one. Yes. Then it's asking for minus minus decrement. So in memory location. Uh, the value goes from one to zero. That's it. Yes. Good. Hey, thanks, man. So everyone yeah. understood, please. So plus plus comes first. What will happen right now for us? Increment will happen in the memory location first, then utilization. I plus plus means first utilize the I value, then only increment the memory location. That's the thing. Clear? Cool. Good. Hey, thank you. So now what will happen? Minus one minus one that will become as minus two okay then after that plus zero plus zero so till minus two then plus one it will become as minus one then again plus one it will become as zero here so j value is also zero right now for me that's it clear when executed both the values will be zero here understood anyone has any questions on this guys Everyone clear? Anyone has any questions on this? Okay. Cool. Thank you. Okay, guys. So now we have done about the post increment, pre increment, decrement, all those stuffs. So now we'll see actually what the final keyword usage. So, final keyword, it's so simple. Let me close all these things. So for you, I will be giving you an assignment here. So what does this assignment means? So this part, okay. It's a little bit actually a tricky one, but actually what, which gives you more ideas here. That's what you're gonna do on this assignment. So integer i equal to one. When I give i plus plus, what will happen? i value will be incremented by two here. Then again, if I give i plus plus, now what will happen? first utilization of i value then i value is incremented then what is my i value so like that it goes on so it's a little bit interesting assignment over there just try to do this so which will give you clarity about plus plus i and all those things clear next now we will see about final keyword So how final keyword works. So for example, right now, normally integer i is equal to 10, I will give. Okay. Then after that system dot out dot print the line, I when I give, that will print me actually what? Value as 10. Now if I want to change the value, i is equal to 20. Now what will happen? I can just give i value is equal to 20 then when i print it the reinitialization will happen and the reinitialized value will come that's what okay but for me i don't want the actually what reinitialization to happen here okay i want my keyword initialization which is done at the beginning should continue throughout the program i don't want anyone to change my value so if that is the case, we use to make it as final year. 
See, once I make it as final, I cannot reinitialize the value for that variable. Remove final modifier of i. Then only I can reinitialize. See, in case if I do not actually what initialize a value here, can you see here hmm. itself it throws me in error. Okay, why? Because when it is a final variable, okay, now when I remove it. Okay, here yeah, let it okay. So we'll see here static int i. Okay, then after that, I'm going to give you okay. So this reinitialization actually what it's not possible yet. So I'll make this a variable. Then when I give a is equal to 20. Now I'll make it as final. Now can you see? When I'm trying to reinitialize, it's throwing me an error. Okay, what's the thing means? That is when it is final, okay, you cannot reinitialize in this place. Okay, same thing. Can I utilize it? So, yeah. Okay, so now let me run this. It's still showing me actually what as an error. But if I remove the final modifier, can you see now the error is gone? That means when it is final, it is mandatory that actually what you have to reinitialize the value for it. That's the thing. Okay, we have to reinitialize the value for sure. That's the main thing here. Clear? Same thing for non static also. Int b is equal to 20. So, okay. Now, when I want to replace it, what do you need to do? So I created the object. Now when I give obj one dot b is equal to forty. Now same thing if I give it as final. Now it throws me an error. That is when it is final, it might be static or non-static or it might be a local variable. Any point of time, I cannot reinitialize the value for it will we be using it in our selenium no we don't use this selenium but it's we need to understand this part for the interview purpose that's the thing clear yeah? that's the only thing and should be everyone clear on this everyone clear on this anyone has any questions on this Okay, final means reinitialization is not possible for us. Clear? So, this is final. Nothing. Final means reinitialization is not possible for us. That's the only one thing that we need to know. Clear? So, next thing. So, we have done with final keyword. Next, we will see the usage of if condition and then after that loops basics. So right click on the package. I'm creating a new class called if else. Then I'll click on public static void menu. So now I have integer a is equal to 10 integer b is equal to 20 integer sum is equal to 50 now i'm going to have my if else condition so i want to do like this if a is greater than b then when system dot out dot print ln here and just get a plus is greater than plus b clear so i can also have if else if conditions here so here when i give actually what another if condition so the combination of the same if else itself so here if you see else if b is 
greater than k. Now what will happen? System dot out dot printer line b plus is greater than a. That's it. Okay. Any questions for anyone on this? So now right click run as Java application. Now can you see it's mentioned 20 is greater than 10. That is B is greater than A. That is else if condition has been executed. So you can also mention 20 B is greater than A. Twenty P is greater than E ten. So then again, here we'll have another one else condition. System dot out dot printer line here. A is equal to to B. So now if I have both the things as here like this. 10 and 10. Now you can see it will print me 10a is equal to b 10. That is, if this if condition and then the else if condition does not matches, so now what will happen? Else condition will be executed. Okay, that's it. So I can also have multiple conditions. So see here, right click new class. multiple conditions if you'll see so now the thing is here if you see how my execution happens we'll see so i have integer a is equal to 10 integer b is equal to 20 integer sum is equal to 50 same thing now i will have if a is greater than B and sum is equal to 13 then execute me this one so now what is uh, this is and condition okay that means both the conditions should be true then only it will execute this if condition else if a is less than b and sum is equal to 30 i'll give you a list of a plus b sum equal to a plus b so that is 10 plus 20 will become a sum okay so here a should be less than b and then b should be actually what uh, sorry sum is should be equal to 30 that time this will be printed so here is so first if condition executed first else if condition executed then the next thing again i'm gonna give if a is greater than b or sum is equal to 30 that time it will execute this one that is i'll mention as second else if condition then again i will give here if a is less than b or sum is equal to 30 then i will execute it so that is i can have multiple else if conditions then after that actually what ampersand means any one should be true okay sorry uh, both the things should be true sorry guys ampersand that is actually what 
and condition means both the conditions should be true then only this will be executed or condition means any one should be true then it will be executed okay then i have else here i will just give a is not equal to b okay then i'll just mention fourth else if condition executed okay equal to means it should be double equal to not equal to means should be exclamatory mark equal to over there that's how it will be executed clear now right click run as java application first else if condition executed so a is greater than b sorry first else if condition sorry a is greater than b a is 10 b is 20 no a is not greater than b so obviously and condition it will not go to the next one only it failed it comes here a is less than b 10 is less than 20 yes 10 is less than 20 and sum is equal to 30 yes a plus b is 10 plus 20 is 30 so it's both the conditions are true so first if else if condition executed in case if i give plus 10 now what will happen right click run as java application now third else if condition executed so a is greater than b no a is not greater than b sum is equal to 30 no sum also is not equal to 30 so that's why it comes here so why here both the conditions it verified means because it's an or condition any one condition is true then this will be executed but here both are false a is less than b yes a is less than b so here what will happen any one is true this will be executed for me third else if condition okay clear if anything is not there so here i can also print else condition executed clear any questions for anyone on this anyone has any questions on this any questions guys everyone understood what is if condition what is else if condition clear right can everyone ping me in the chat window yes i want to reply from everyone it's a basic thing but it's a very very important steps okay good okay kids so with this i'll stop it for today okay so next week is a very very important week i want everyone to make sure actually what without fail everyone to come for it okay so next week what we are going to take i'll tell you so next week we are going to start about loops okay while loop for loop all those things so what we are going to learn here means actually what understanding about the pyramid numbers so what are the pyramid numbers here means if we go here so when you go for an interview they'll be asked you to print like this one 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 three 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 two 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 one two three four four three two one 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 two three four 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 three two one like these stuffs so how to execute find the logic okay syntax is not important i already told you finding the logic so how to find the logic for it then after that actually what find the number is a prime number or not then fibonacci series factorial of a number second largest number in an array so like all these stuffs actually what we will be doing it then password level program execution so then after the first eight numbers should be even numbers next eight should be odd numbers how to print it 16 numbers so like that entirely logical design that is what we are going to execute okay that's what so that's what next week is so important for you because when you go for an interview okay so they'll be asking you to write a program so when they ask you to write a program how you can write you're able to build the logic then only you can write it otherwise you cannot do so that logic information is what you're gonna do it by the next week clear 
okay so the demo sessions are all completed so actually what uh, I, I can expect this actually payment by this weekend from everyone over there so some of them have done the half of the payment so I can also can expect the payment by this weekend okay so if you have any queries or something you please you can call me or whatsapp me at any time okay thank you thanks guys so again we'll meet by next week Monday thank you bye guys.